Hello, consider a scenario. Let's assume that you are the CTO of Acme Electronics and you want to enable an online storefront for Acme Electronics so that it can sell its product online on the internet. So what kind of customer experience that you are intending to see? So in one case, that a customer has to wait for the website to load or you want a customer that is just completely blown away by the speed and functionality of your system. I believe you need to see the second one. So here are a couple of questions that that would give you sleepless nights about the performance of the system that you are building. For example, if your product is ready for prime time use, is it fast enough so that it can respond to user's request? Is it scalable enough so that it can sustain a predicted user activity? Will there be a loss in revenue or damaged brand value because of sluggish response time? Another kind of questions, what kind of infrastructure that you need to support your peak load? How many servers do you need? What kind of storage system that you need? Can you scale the system in the future? What are, what are the current bottlenecks that you have right now? And how resilient your system to such type of bottlenecks? So do you want to improve the efficiency by tuning certain things? Or you want to change the algorithms? Or what kind of subsystem that is going to be likely to fail? What's the solution here? Performance engineering will help you to answer these issues. In this seven unit course, we are going to learn from the ground up about performance testing methodology. So we will give you various techniques that are used while conducting performance tests. So essentially, this course can serve as a guideline for your performance testing. To take this course, we expect you to have working knowledge of web development and familiarity with the programming language. Thank you so much. See you in the class.